So today's lecture is on functions. So let's start. Uh, so functions as black boxes. What are functions? Right? So have we used functions till now? Yes, we have the print function, right? So if you remember, print is just a function that you say print something. So that takes that something to the screen, right? So that statement or that print function, how it behaves, we don't know. We just know it as a black box that you put in something, you get something out, okay? What's happening inside that black box, we don't know, right? So a function is, we already said, is a sequence of instructions with a name. So the name for that sequence of instructions is print. That prints something on the screen. Similarly, there is a round function, right? That does something like this. That you say round this number to these many decimal places. So it will put 6.83 because 2 is rounded to 3 and puts it in price. What happens inside the round function, how it behaves, what's the code written that takes this number, converts it, we don't know and we don't care, right? So that is the beauty of functions or the power of functions that you know how something behaves, what inputs you want to give it. So in this case, we know that the round function takes two inputs. You just call the function and you get a result, okay? So that is what the calling of the function is, that you call the function with a name, okay? And you get a result back. The things that you provide to the function, they're called arguments, okay? So in this case, round function has two arguments. What those uh, uh, arguments are and in which order you should give those arguments, etc., that's written in the definition of the function. Like when you define the function, you say that I expect the first input to be this, or first argument to be this, the second argument to be this, and so on. And the third argument and the fourth argument, whatever number of arguments you decide for a given function, okay? So functions can receive multiple arguments or they can also receive no arguments. For instance, if you remember the print function can be written just like this to print a new line, right? Just an empty print function. So this function is expecting no arguments or is um, accepting no, no arguments also. So it depends how your function is written, you do that. Black box analogy, I already said what a black box means. 